M0FXB. Welcome to my channel. If you find the contents helpful, please subscribe and like. 7-3. M0FXB, watching this video uh, from the Smoking Ape about SDR Sharp, and I think it looks quite cool, so I thought I'd give it a go. So here's the actual sort of web page for, or a web page saying rtlsdr.com. This is the one I've bought. I think you can actually buy them as a kit in a kit form where you get some extra goodies. In the UK, 65, I think cheaper on eBay, and then just the dongles, 36. But I have an antenna. So if you look here, you've got the antenna, the SMA connector there. Here. So that, you know, we've got VHF, UHF antennas. I've got my HF antennas and other things. And this basically is only a receiver, but this is the one recommended. And it looks really good. So just looking at this site here, that's some screen image, your usual SDR, but it pretty much receives everything, literally everything. So I thought, how can I resist that for 30, 30 odd pounds? And if I don't like it, I'll send it back to Amazon. Um, I know that's naughty, but I will. <laughs> so anyway, um, watched a bit of uh, uh, the Smoking Apes video. He's got one here. He shows you how to install it, and I'll do it as well, just for the fun of it. There you go. And I'm not going to... You get the idea. It's all bands, all modes. Um, and broad, broadcast, broadcast stuff is and everything. Yeah, okay. So... Here's the download. Now, what it is, you need to buy the dongle. Then you need to download the free software. There is a purchase option, but it's, it's basically free. It says it here. Uh, the best free SDR software for Air, Air Spy and RTL dongles. Air Spy drivers, USB drive. It's all here. Yeah, have a good old read. I've, I'm going to download it now. You do need this other program called Zadig, which puts the correct... USB driver into your uh, device manager. We know what a device manager is, so click device manager. So let's say you've got your drivers here for all these different things. Let's say one of these is the dongle. You can actually replace the driver in there so it's the correct one, so it, it runs correctly. So I've done a separate video on that, and I'll put the link in this video as well. So I'm going to download this now. I don't know if it's going to work, because this is more of an intro that I'm going to have a go at this. So let's just go to... Okay, so I think we'll leave the installation for when I've actually got the, the dongle here and then we'll run through it step by step and see and see how we get on with it. It's going to be great fun. 7-3, all the best. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and like.